Hi everybody, welcome to Amala TV. My name is Honey. My name is Richie Rock. We bring you this presentation following the big opening of the HBO special Game of Thrones. We decided that, you know, we'll just take a poll and see if we could come up with the 10 most annoying characters in that movie. And I hope you'll agree with our lineup that we've come up with, okay? Number one on our list is um, Tom and Baratheon. Why is he um, regarded as one of the top 10 biggest idiots in Game of Thrones? <laughs> so, so now I can understand. He's staring at a very small age. It's more pressure and everything. I mean, he's over here in secondary school and he's ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> okay, went to school. <laughs> so, so, I'm my answer. So, the guy had his up here and the guy just dropped his crown, climbed the balcony or something and just jumped. But you see, you really can't blame him because he was young, inexperienced and totally in love. The, the princess he was supposed to get married to, she was much older than him. I don't remember, the guy was really crazy about the woman. Exactly. You know, so when he found out that, you know, she got blown up in, in, in the temple, he felt he didn't have anything to live for. So he jumped out the window. Anyway, on to number nine. The number nine on our list is Euron Greyjoy. Uh, you're on Ray Joy. He, he showed up at about season six, thereabout. Uh, he was uncle to Theon Greyjoy and his sister. That guy was ruthless. The guy, the guy was a problem. The guy wanted to kill them. I mean, anything. Mados, I mean, Mados climbed this throne. You know, kill them. Go. But the thing is, apart from the things he did, mm -hmm. his person, his personality is just an Annoying. Sarcastic, full of himself, you know. Yeah, that's my number nine. Any day. Uh, on to number eight. eight. High Sparrow, High Sparrow, High Sparrow. <laughs> remember High Sparrow, the guy that, I don't know, was he supposed to be a priest or something? Yeah, he was supposed to be like the high priest. That's high what they call him. The, the high priest. The guy doesn't Sparrow. look anything like a priest. The guy is like, looks like a beggar. One homeless, one homeless yeah, guy, yeah. shaggy hair, and um, one kind of jaga jaga clothes like this, walks around barefooted, and I'm like, <laughs> this guy single handedly brought down hell everybody by the balls. I mean, Tommy was ruling. Tommy was ruling. Tommy was, 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 was basically like a figurehead. He couldn't do or say anything. I was, I was, I was watching the movie. I was like, wait, though. Maybe this guy is getting king. If the shit and drop it, they destroy. And ah, this guy did that. Yeah. If I don't come out in here, then. <laughs> anyway, number seven, Walder oh, Frey. Really, Walder. That guy was the height of pettiness. Let's talk about an old man being very saucy. Do you understand? The guy is just petty. Okay, so you have a bunch of ugly daughters that nobody wants to marry. <laughs> You know, one of his daughters was prom promised to to Rob Stark. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, I mean, Rob Rob met this hot chick and he, he basically just fell. So like, he, he wiped out like part of the family just because yeah. the no green marrying daughter. He felt like I mean, it was that bad. Like he was like, shit, this is my last chance. If yeah. you can't marry this girl, you don't finish. With I mean, that that's much. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. Now Shay, Shay was the Shay was the whore who Tyrion, the little guy, the, the dwarf, um, Tyrion fell in love with the whore. That was Shay, okay? And they, they, they went through a lot together, but then the moment um, Tyrion got engaged or was forced to marry Santa Stark, Shay got so she jealous. Got jealous, catch up. She, she just got jealous and, you know, he was trying to make her understand that, look, I mean, it's duty. There's nothing I can do. I mean, did you know that they actually put monies together enough to build her an entirely new life? And she said no. They gave it to her, and she refused. And she wants, she wants her man. Yeah. And Tyrion got accused of killing Joffrey. You know, um, she saw it as an opportunity to get back at Tyrion. So she actually went and testified against Tyrion in court. She said she didn't. Do. I get it. My she point now. Be? To cap it, to top it up, Tyrion manages to escape from the dungeon, only to come and find out that that same Shay was sleeping with his father. She has to die. She, she will die. <laughs> she <will> die. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, number six, Shay, most annoying person. 
Right now, we're entering the big lady, the uh, biggest uh, boys in the house. Badass guy. Nah, everybody knows Ramsey. What's his name? Ramsey Bolt. Ramsey Bolt. Mm. That guy. That guy is like the baddest G. <laughs> the movie. Now, now, Ramsey, Ramsey, Ramsey was a sociopathic, psychopathic megalomaniac. He was. Ramsey was in a class of his own. See, see where, see where he broke everybody's heart. I, I'm sure they will agree with me. Why did he have to wait? Did you see the way he killed Regan Stark? He had to wait. He had to wait until the guy. He made him run <laughs> until he had nearly reached his brother. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Then he took him out. I mean, that's the sweetest way to do it. The he, he was just a sadist. He, he liked. That's number five. That's number five. Alright, the guy don't die. The guy don't <laughs> die. <laughs> number four. Mm. The Red Witch. Beautiful. Melisandre. The beautiful Melisandre. Did you say beautiful? She's fine now. She's fine Did you see when she took off the necklace she was wearing? She took off the necklace. That woman was uglier than an ogre. She is old, decrepit. So, so it's magic that keeps her. Yes. Oh, boy. Basically, you know. I mean, I didn't see and and that. and she 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 let that Baratheon guy, Stannis. She 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 lied to Stannis until Stannis finished his entire family, including himself. Now you know the annoying thing. When the heat got bad, she ran. She ran away. People like that deserve to die first. <laughs> he get. I mean, he made he she, she made Stannis burn his only daughter. Yeah, something about the um, what was that? That her something god. something about the fire god. Yeah, something something, something about something. her god. It was I said to think ah she na Christianity do man do or something. It's I mean, something. It started to sound real. <laughs> <laughs> Just made the man burn his only daughter because she said that was the sacrifice that they need to win the war and they still lost moving on to our top three mm, top three <laughs> Theon Greyjoy everybody's favorite idiot by excellence <laughs> like the guy, <laughs> the guy just the absence no 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 so from, from season one Theon was he was, in, was quiet I mean he was obedient you know, even, do you not even notice Theon in, in, in season one it's until the guy now went back to Winterfell and wanted to claim Oga. To show you how much of a coward he was, he waited until Rob had left. Mm -hmm. Their mm -hmm. mother, it was only the two small boys that were at home. So it means we're in power rich now we're two small boys there. Barely. How do you even do that? These were people that raised you, raised you grew up in their house, they call you brother, and you still go back. Maybe okay, you know back then the guy wasn't um he wasn't in tune with his um father's um yeah so, so whole maybe he felt okay, yes thing. maybe he felt um if I need to rule I mean right now this um um Winterfell doesn't look like it has any, any strong strength, head yeah. let me just go I mean I was raised by Stark so, so I, mean, I can conquer the place take, take advantage of and the okay all of got, that did, all of that didn't didn't annoy me when. After everything he had been through, you know, with Ramsey Bolton and everything and everything, and he escaped. Do you know that when it came to time for him to have his sisters back, he ran. <laughs> Again. That's after all the things he had done. For me, that was the most annoying part. The coward. The guy, you can't be stupid and be a coward. I can't be how can you be a stupid coward? I don't I don't <laughs> even one, get pick it. Pick one struggle. You can't be both of them. <laughs> you can't be both. You don't be stupid or be a coward. <laughs> you can't be both. You know. But yeah. Um moving on. <laughs> Number two. It took this person six seasons to develop yes, sense. To develop sense. To grow one cell, one brain. To have one small <laughs> brain. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you our number two most annoying character on Game of Thrones, Drumroll. Sansa Stark. Chat is good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Look at sense. No, I want to be a princess. I want to marry the prince and be a queen. She's not the ID guy since season one. She's the ID 
the guy, I, the guy. That, that she never knew the guy is true color. And when she even knew it's true color, I don't understand why she was still there. She was stuck. As at the time she finally found out who 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 Joffrey was, she was already stuck. I mean the guy was she was stuck. And it took her almost four seasons to get out of there. You know what? I'm just going to let them draw their opinions about Sansa. Sansa, if you want to start counting. Both, I mean, See, the, 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 the part of the part that people know about Sansa right now, the people that are watching Game of Thrones now, is when I mean she looks like a big girl, yeah, the yeah, army, yeah, yeah, you know, rolling with little finger and the rest of them. And it looks like ah, oh, remember the time when she was stupid? She was stupid and oh, very angry. Remember when oh, she was stupid? It's fresh in our brain. It's very angry. <laughs> Presenting to you the top of the list most and. Annoying character on Game of Thrones. Please give me the drum roll. I'm very sure everybody will agree with me on this one. That spot goes to Joffrey Baratheon, king. So long as I am your king, treason shall never go unpunished. Sir Illyn, bring me his head. Man. Leave her face. I like her pretty. <laughs> now, my lady's overdressed. Unburden her. If you want Rob Stark to hear us, we're going to have to speak louder! The king of King that sat on the island trial. I mean, Joffrey. Do we need to explain why Joffrey is annoying? Is annoying? I, I, anybody that has watched the movie knows. I'm why. very sure that's everybody's number one. They say who's the worst king. Everybody knows this nigga. Come on. I mean, undisputed king of annoyingness. If there's a word like that. I can't even count how many times. I can't even count how many. I'm trying to think of where to start the analysis from. You get. You you know what you know what. Um, just go through our top 10 list. If you do agree or you have a rearrangement of how you think this top 10 should go, please put it down in the comment section. And then, you know, let's get the conversation going as, you know, we catch up with the rest of the movie. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Honey. My name is Richie Rock. And this is Amala TV.